On the right, we have an array of polishing pads. To the left, we have the corresponding compounds that we use um, to cut the clear coat or the paint um, each stage getting finer and finer and finer there is another stage but that's my little secret so I haven't put that on there when I say I'm going to do a five stage polish it'll be with a super fine and, and it's finer than the super finish plus but the pads come in different I suppose it, that's a, you know a, a fairly solid um, pad that would be used for heavy cutting and um, we'd use this if your car's got deep scratches um, and really you know we have to assess the damage on the car before we determine what pad we're going to use. We would really like to use and we test for the least aggressive amount of cut that is needed to remove the defects. This uh, helps preserve the thickness of the clear coat on the car. Um, if you break through the clear coat, it's got to be repainted. So, you know, we don't want to break through. So we try and use the least aggressive method. So these go from hard to semi-hard, medium hard, soft and super soft. These would be used with these compounds that are diminishing compounds, that they are nanotechnology. And basically you could see the step one, step two, step two and a bit and step three um, I go a little bit further than that but as you can see on these things here it'll tell you the amount of cut and the amount of gloss and you can see that they all are slightly different I mean the, the two medium ones you know this one has a bit more gloss um, this one cuts a little bit more and this one has more gloss and very little cut. Um, my next stage virtually doesn't cut at all, um, but really brings the depth out. So when I say that we're doing a multi-stage polish, you know, it could be a really bad condition car, probably would need to have all five of these. But we don't start off with the most coarse and hardest pad. We would start off with a medium and a medium polish um, to see whether that would remove the defects um, in a lighter way. Sometimes, it, you know, we have to do more sets. And by sets, I mean is we load the pad, uh, we work the pad until the polish diminishes, check uh, for the defects and if some defects are still there we reload the pad well the first set you know on the second set and so on and so on if you was to have to need you know up to about four stages of the same or four sets of the same compound then you're using the wrong compound you should go up to a, the next course one which would mean that you wouldn't have to get the panel so hot um, by keep returning with a, a, a least aggressive paste. So we have to work out, and experience tells us a lot, but, you know, if you start off by using the least aggressive uh, paste and it don't work, then, you know, it becomes obvious that you've got to be a bit more aggressive. But the more aggressive that you are, the more you need to then refine the paint down again um, to get your depth and shine. So, you know, in some cases, you know, you'll go and have a two-stage polish. Um, not that I do many two-stage polishes, but you could have your whole car polished with these two. Um, probably that wouldn't get out deep scratches. Um, 
but you'd get a lovely shine and the car would look nice. Um, you know, these really are for the heavier de uh, you know, defects on the car. Um, and sometimes, uh, more often than not in my case, there's uh, a lot of wet flatting involved. But when you hear about me doing multi-stage polishing in the future, I'm hoping that you'll understand um, what I mean. So I'll leave that with you and hopefully it gives you more of an insight of what I'm on about when I write up oh it's having multi-stage or three stages or four stages you'll you'll understand what I'm on about you know if it's a four stage it probably means I haven't had to use the really aggressive pad um, and then I've come down from that but you know I tend to do four stage polishes on most cars um, I'm doing the SLK at the moment, so perhaps, you know, I can um, show you some of the stages as I go. But, you know, just for informative, um, you know, it's not a body shop. The body shop tend to use only one, and that'll be the heaviest pad and the heaviest compound. But they're not trying to, um, you know, get a magnificent finish. They're just matching the paint um, finish to, to the car, so they don't have to be... Um, as fussy um, that's the difference between body shop polishing and um, a detailer so anyway I'm going to leave that with you and hope that uh, it's give you an insight and um, I'll see you on the next one